The search to explain the mysterious mummy of Spiti Valley has taken Victor Mare from the mountains of Tibet to the skyscrapers of Boston. For years, Dr. Herbert Benson of the Harvard Medical School has been conducting experiments on Buddhist monks from Tibetan monasteries to assess the effects of meditation on the body's metabolism. His research has provided a remarkable insight into the ways the mind can alter the functioning of the body. What we found with respect to their oxygen consumption in simple meditation, they decrease their metabolism upwards of 64%. And this was the largest decrease in oxygen consumption that was ever recorded in experiments by a simple restful procedure. Carefully monitoring a form of Dzogchen meditation known as Tum Mo, the yoga of inner heat, Benson came up with even more intriguing results. What we found initially in Tumo was that monks were able to increase their skin temperature in environments of 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. But that was just the beginning. Well, what we found in these monks in very cold environments of 40 degrees Fahrenheit, wrapping themselves in wet sheets, these monks astoundingly could increase their temperature enough to get the sheets steaming and dry the sheets. You and I would go into uncontrollable shivering and perhaps even die of too low blood pressure. They were quite comfortable there simply by uh, performing their TUMO meditational heat yoga. When asked how they do it, the monks describe relaxing, focusing on their breathing. They picture air coming in and out as a kind of energy. They visualize it as a flame, a fire coursing through the chest. Dr. Benson has shown that anyone who performs the initial steps of meditation can have a significant effect on their body. Meditation can help the treatment of stress-related health problems, such as anxiety, depression, high blood pressure, and cardiac irregularities. But can Dr. Benson's evidence about the physical power of Buddhist meditation help us understand what happened to the mummy of Spiti Valley? Learning about Dr. Benson's work has given me a glimpse of the tremendous powers that the Tibetan mummy might have possessed. If they could actually dry icy sheets using heat visualization techniques, I wonder if the mummy could have dried his body the same way. Could this really be the explanation for the mummy's death? Could it really be that he literally dried himself out? In an attempt to find answers to those questions, Bruno Tonello takes his pioneering digital x-rays of the Tibetan mummy to Ian Watt, one of London's top radiologists. 